I, I went on a trip um, to Thailand where we were doing stuff with um, anti-human trafficking and um, we had a couple of free hours and ended up going to an orphanage that was there. I went home to poor Jesse and with a nice surprise where I was like, our daughter's out there somewhere. I had decided it was a da our daughter. And um, so I gave him like a month <laughs> and said, you can like pray and see if you're ready, but I'm ready. Um, so in that time, I called adoption agencies and emailed and looked online at different agencies. And um, the only agency I ever like received anything from, like any reply or a packet or anything, was All God's Children International. We ended up that we were approved in Ethiopia or the Oregon foster care system. And I had been drawn to Ethiopia because my godmother's Ethiopian. And um, I'd always just, I thought she was amazing. And so there was something when that popped up that I was like, okay, it's Ethiopia. And to, with Jesse too, for whatever reason, he felt a lot of peace of like, okay, that's, that's where our daughter is. We'd been in the process maybe like a year or so when the, two, the second trip was added on. So we knew that that was coming. It was a spiritual experience for us. And seeing her, it felt just the same as like meeting my biological children for the first time and like looking in their eyes where you're like, you're mine and I'm yours. And um, like I felt that connection with her right away. We put her to, you know, rocked her to sleep and put her in her crib and walked away and just both of us were a disaster. Um, and we didn't know at that point how long it would be before we were cleared by the U.S. Embassy. So um, it ended up being a month, you know, it was new and we didn't know what we were doing. And so um, returning to her was uh, really strange and um, she remembered us and so as soon as we walked through like the gate to go back to her she looked at us and like just made eye contact with both of us and she was five months old at that point she was four months old when we met her and she just started scream like squealing she did it for six hours and um, she fell asleep in my arms twice during that time and like cried through her nap and then after the second nap she like woke up and looked at both of us, like made sure we were there and then was fine. Like that was like, oh, you're back. Um, Almaz, who was who ran Hannah's Hope in Ethiopia, said she knew you left her and she remembers you and you attached while you were here. And um, like she's she's scared that you're going to leave her again. And that really, um, like, she didn't sleep well. She, she slept fine at Hannah's Hope, and then after that, every, she struggled sleeping every time. And I really think it's because we put her to sleep and then left her, and she woke up and we weren't there anymore. So we talk about that with her. Like, honey, you went through something really hard when Mommy and Daddy had to leave you. We've been able to do some amazing um therapy with her because she was nonverbal at that stage so she feels things at night a lot deeper but she doesn't know she can't give us the words around it and she feels a lot of anxiety at night um, so th through therapy she's really um, like she's been doing a lot better and our boys they think she's the most amazing thing ever and so she thinks she's the most amazing thing ever too <laughs> which is great. I'm like, oh, I wish I could hold on in like the best ways. Like she thinks her hair is amazing and she thinks she's beautiful and smart and like hilarious and all the things that you hope your daughter like walks away with. I hope she continues to like 
keep her confidence in that. And I really think a huge part of it, obviously, Jessie and I think she's incredible, or, but are that her older brothers, like, have never stopped being in her face about how much they love her. Harper, my daughter, is is ours. Like, she is my baby. I love her with all of my being. I don't feel any different about her than I do my biological children. Like, I love her with all my heart. But um, if she were able to stay in Ethiopia and stay in her home country with her birth family, that would have been the best thing for my daughter. It wasn't an option with her story. But, um, but I love her so much that that's what I would want. So it's so important as we're explaining the work and what we're doing as a, an organization and how important that is, like that being the first line of response, that it's important to us that the kids be able to stay in their country, that this isn't a business, that this is a heart thing. And I hope it's something that as she grows up too, that she'll see and know that we love her so much that we would have wanted that for her and that we were doing everything we can to help kids and families all over the world be able to stay together.